everyone, my name is Han Yu Chang. Today I'm going to present the topic which is a light pipe steel design for improved webability. The introduction. The material I'm going to focus on, which is a thick wall steel. Thick wall steel is commonly used in the energy sector particular in the construction of pipeline for the transportation of natural gas, crude oil, and other energy resources. With the growing global demand for energy, the need for pipeline has increased, driving the demand for thick world steel. The well method I'm focused on is narrow gap gas metal art welding. This method could offer reduced heat input efficiency and minimal thermal stress. The problem could happen in fusion, sidewall fusion, and center line cracking. The problem utilizing a narrow groove can reduce welding time by minimizing the value of welding required. However, the likelihood of weld defects like efficiency. Fusion. Narrow gap require precise placement of the filler material to ensure a complete sidewall fusion. In the filler materials, it's not accurately positioned. There can be gaps or unfused areas in the sidewalls. So in the figure one, which is the defect called lack of a sidewall fusion. The literary review, I found some of the research. For example, the swing arm welding could deal with the problem. Swing arm welding increase the R width and the length. Sidewall penetration increase with the widening of the oscillation width. However, an excessively wide width may lead to defects such as porosity, conversely, the penetration depth of the groove button decreases with a wider oscillation width, but a width that is too narrow increases the risk of sidewall defects. The figure two swing in the sidewall and button, and the non swing in the sidewall and button, you can see the length and the width is different. The figure three, the step of the swing welding. The step is like a step one, two, three, and four. I also found the fin element module. To thoroughly investigate these influences, research like Yue used 2D finite element module and orthogonal experiments. Their findings show that increasing interpass or preheating temperature reduce racial stress. The figure four, it is a mesh of a finite element. The figure five is a vertification of the temperature field module for X80 and X65. In my research design, the test material is X80 and X100 because both are high strength steel. And the specimen size is like a figure. The path of a weld, while the vertical oscillation or path is effective, wider oscillation width can disrupt welding stability with the confines of the narrow groove. Our primary object is to maximize the sidewall penetration while maintaining the stability of the welding process. To explore this, we conduct experience with a very oscillation wide range from zero to four millimeter with a fixed drill time of 60 milliseconds. The figure five is a vertical view and figure six is a front view.
the finished element module. The first, we calculate the temperature field using a nonlinear heat conduction equation to determine temperature distribution during welding. Then we apply this temperature data as a boundary condition to our stress field module, which calculates the ratio of stress. The figure seven is a dual as like heat source module, and the equation is the welding heat transfer control. The reference is here. Thank you for listening to my presentation.